Hey guys, Seb from Pro Safety and Training. What we're doing today is really simple. I'm going to show you the difference between qualitative fit testing and then quantitative fit testing using a port account. Now at Pro Safety and Training, we only recommend you guys do quantitative fit testing. Now qualitative fit testing is subjective and not entirely reliable, and here's why. So some workers may not be able to taste the solution. It is difficult to wear other PPE when you're doing testing. It can only be tested with half face masks. You cannot test full face masks. It is intrusive and uncomfortable for workers. Workers can lie about the results. It is not entirely accurate. And the competency of some operators is questionable. So the benefits of quantitative fit testing are, it's entirely accurate. It can't be lied or cheated about. It uses calibrated equipment. The equipment is checked daily for accuracy. It is faster than qualitative testing. It is less intrusive than qualitative testing. Now qualitative fit testing uses a hood that you place over the worker's head and then you spray a solution or a chemical, usually Bitrex, into the hood. We insert this into this little hole at the front here and start spraying the solution. And then we have the worker do a number of exercises. If the worker can taste the solution, it's a fail test. If the worker does not taste the solution, it's a pass test. Now I've found that a lot of individuals are purchasing qualitative fit test hoods and then providing this as a business service uh, and setting up sham businesses. They're administering the test incorrectly, which is putting workers' lives at risk, and I find this unacceptable. Now over here, you can see with the port account 8048, we have a pass rate of 88% uh, and a fail rate of 12%. So with our calibrated port accounts, we're only passing tests 88% of the time. With other providers that do qualitative, they're saying that they pass tests 100% of the time, which I find very hard to believe. Now quantitative fit testing is what we recommend. It uses the port account 8048 or the port account 8038. And the way that it works is we basically probe respirators and then sample air from the inside of the mask and the outside of the mask. It's 100% accurate. It can't be cheated at all. So now that we've got it all set up, he's basically connected up to the unit. We can start the machine and start our testing and run through a number of exercises. Now with this clear hose just here, that samples air on the inside of the mask, and this blue hose just here samples air on the outside of the mask. It sucks in the air, it counts the number of particles in the air, and then it calculates a fit factor. So if the fit factor is above a certain level, it's a pass. If the fit factor is below a certain level, it's a fail. Now the downside to quantitative fit testing is obviously the price of the port account. However, with our fleet of five port accounts and trained operators, we're able to undertake testing anywhere in Australia for your business. The reason it's so cost effective is is we generally run two units, so two port account units with one operator. So that means we can do two workers every 15 minutes. Because we have so many units running at once, we can conduct a number of fit tests per hour and this won't limit production. So you can keep that black rock coming out of the ground. For more information on quantitative fit testing, please feel free to give us a call at 1300 336 003 or review our website.